So you do the greeting. Come on. <laughs> we don't have to start. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Mia. Okay, good morning, everybody. Morning, morning. Uh oh, am I only talking to two people? Morning, morning, morning. Morning. Okay, let's wake up. Let's wake up. Let's wake up. Good morning, everybody. We are uh, on Thursday morning here, November 7, 2019. Okay, what are we doing here? Oh, excuse me. Um, so the gospel this morning is from St. Luke, chapter 15, verses 1 to 10. It's uh, a long gospel. And Jesus is here telling us the um, story of and telling a parable about a good shepherd. Need a good shepherd. You see, Jesus uses all of these images that are familiar with his audience. Okay? In those days, um, you would commonly see uh, flocks and flocks of sheep, sometimes hundreds of them, okay? uh, being led by one shepherd. And what does that image um, um, reflect um, for us? Why does Jesus make use of the image of a, of a shepherd uh, guiding his flock? Um, in, you know, and, and uh, using that, uh, that kind of metaphor for himself. What does a shepherd do? So a shepherd guides his flock. Flock could be several dozens if not hundreds of sheep uh, all together right and he tells us a story here of how um, one day there was one young sheep that strayed from the rest of the flock right and and lost its way and what does the shepherd do what does a good shepherd do he goes and leaves the 99 and hunts for that one sheep that lost its way. Why? Because the, the shepherd, being a good shepherd, wanted to bring that sheep back to the fold. Wanted to invite that sheep back into the fold so that he or it would uh, again belong to that big family, that big flock where he could tend to them and he could lead them the good pasture and give them the kind of food uh, you know that they require and nourishment that they require so here we're told about the story of a good shepherd who lost one out of a hundred sheep he lost one so what did he do he left the 99 in the place where they were feeding and he went to look for that one that one that got lost. Now, some, as I was preparing this, I thought about our own little dog, our own little terrier, right? Boy, once in a while, he escapes from the garage door or from the backyard gate, right? And what do we all do? What do we do? We all run out and try to uh, recover, recover Boy, right? So that, that's kind of like what the good shepherd here in this story does to that one sheep. See? We all ran out there to recover our dog who has wandered about. And why do we do that? Why can't we just say, ah, okay, you don't want to get lost? Okay, get lost. <laughs> why do we all go out there and hunt for him and bring him back? Huh? Why do we do that? We don't want him to get lost, right? We love our dog, okay? <laughs> we want him around, okay? Maybe for us, it's a little bit more of a selfish motive, right? We don't want him to lose our dog, okay? But, well, so the same thing happens with Jesus. Jesus, the good shepherd, does not want us lost, okay? He does not want us lost. He loves us so much that he wants to bring us back to the fold, he wants us to be always with him. He wants us to be part of the family, his family of God. Now, you and I 
can very well be this lost sheep. And at any point in our lives, we have been this lost sheep. And sometimes it's because of our own mischievousness, our own um, uh, adventurousness. Sometimes it's because of our own disobedience or just our own negligence. We stray away from the path. We stray away from the flock. We stray away from the guidance of the Good Shepherd. We commit sin. Sin is our way of straying away from the flock. Sin is our way of ignoring the Good Shepherd who wants to guide us towards the right path. And that sin can be big or can be small. Sometimes it can be a minor deviation, right? We just happen to uh, be attracted to some distraction in life and we commit a small sin. Well, through, through grace and the invitation of the Good Shepherd to come back to the fold, through confession, we can go back to the fold and get back to the right path again. And sometimes it's a big deviation. Sometimes we lose our way big time. We get lost completely through mortal sin. When we commit mortal sin, we get lost. And, and we, we could hardly find our bearing and find our navigation uh, to go back to the path again. To be part of the pack again. So what does our Lord do? Our Lord being the good shepherd. He does not just whistle to us and say. Come back here like we do with our dog. Right? The good shepherd that Jesus is. He hunts us down. He goes down that path. Where we got lost. And he tries to do everything. To invite us back. And bring us back to the fold. That is what Jesus does to us. That is what Jesus the good shepherd does to us. So what is the implication of that for us? For us we should, we should remember this image every time we commit sin. We should remember Jesus. And we should imagine Jesus always trying to hunt us down and bring us back to the fold. And that should not, that should encourage us. And should not make us get discouraged. It should not make us feel like we have no hope and we're going to be lost forever. No, no, we're, we're not. Nobody is hopeless. Until we're alive, nobody is hopeless. And we can be sure that the Good Shepherd is always interested to have us back. The question is, the question really is, how do we respond to Jesus' invitation for us to go back to the fold? How do we respond? Do we listen to the call of the Good Shepherd? Do we, do we pay attention to the Good Shepherd? Or do we ignore the call and the invitation of the Good Shepherd and we just continue our, our wayward path on our wayward path and get, get more and more lost into sin and bigger and bigger sin? Let's listen to the Good Shepherd because the Good Shepherd calls us persistently in many ways, in many ways. Sometimes He calls us through the instruments that He uses beside us. Many times it's through our parents. Other times it's through maybe uh, 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 the pastor at church who happens to deliver a good homily that strikes us uh, right to the core and, uh, and, uh, and, and uh, gives us a signal of uh, you know conversion and going back to the fold sometimes it's the circumstances that happen in our lives unexpected things that our lord sometimes arranges so that arranges for us so that that wakes us up and brings us back to the fold of of uh, his love okay? so the good shepherd is always there the good shepherd is always finding ways and means to get us back to the fold our job is to recognize that. Our job is to listen to the call of the Good Shepherd. Our job is to repent. Responding to the Good Shepherd means listening to His call and repenting. Repenting 
Repentance means correcting our way. Okay? Being, be, being willing to, to go back to the fold. Being willing to get back into that straight path that the Good Shepherd wants to lead us to. Okay? So remember that. Nobody can really be lost unless he or she wants to. Because the Good Shepherd is always there to hunt us down. Okay? So nobody, no soul, will ever be lost unless he or she wants to get lost forever. But if there is even just a, a, a sliver of willingness to reform, to repent, to get better, then the Good Shepherd is always right there behind him, waiting with open arms to welcome the lost sheep. And look at what our Lord says here. There will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over the 99 righteous people who have no need for repentance. You can just imagine that every time we do a very good confession, every time that we get back to the fold and we, we respond to the invitation of the Good Shepherd, all the angels and all the saints in heaven are clapping their hands and congratulating us and welcoming us and all expressing their joy and happiness over our repentance, over our having been found, over our response <clears throat> to the call of the Good Shepherd. So let us remember this image all the time. Let us remember this image all the time Every time we feel discouraged, every time we feel burdened with, uh, with uh, many things we need to, to do, every time we have, we have challenges uh, uh, regarding our faith, every time we have temptations, <coughs> let, us always, uh -oh. <laughs> let us always remember the Good Shepherd is just right behind us. The Good Shepherd will welcome us back. And all we need to do is answer the call, answer the invitation, and respond to the grace that the Good Shepherd is giving us. Okay? Okay. Uh -uh. <laughs> That's it for us, folks. Have a good day, everybody. Hope to see you again tomorrow. And the breakfast commentaries of the Gospel uh, in the Kleachko household every breakfast time. You're all invited and welcome to join us. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.